<laughs> Hi, I'm, my name's Lauren, I'm here with On The Scene, and today we've got Shane Ritchie and Jesse Wallace here with us, here to talk about their upcoming production of Robin Hood, which is coming to the Southampton Mayflower for a run in December. That's all right. So, welcome. Thank you. Um, so, obviously you're playing the two main characters of Robin Hood and Maid Marian. She's playing the forest. <laughs> Robin Hood, she's playing Maid <laughs> Marian. Yeah. So, how did you both get involved in the fans' mind? Tell them, Jess. <laughs> How did you get involved in doing a panto with me? We had the same manager and mm -hmm. uh, he, he just said, you know, do you fancy doing a panto together? And we jumped at it because we just love working together. Ah, that's her side of the story. <laughs> yeah, no, it was something that we got asked to do. We've been asked to do for years, didn't we? For to do years. Something together. For years. And we've never really had the opportunity because we've always done our separate things Christmas. But we just finished touring with a play. We just did a, a new drama, a Cat and Alfie drama for BBC. And this felt like because it's been such a tough year, uh, wonderfully tough, I mean, like, you know, the sh restraints of being in the drama where, you know, the parameters are you play it straight, blah, blah, blah. And this is just an opportunity just to let go. And for me, that's what Panther's about. This is Jesse's second one. She's never done it with me, so she's in for a shock of her life because no two shows are the same, and it's important that when the audience come out, I mean, the, the stars of the show for me are the audience. Did you choose to do Robin Hood? Like, was it something that you wanted to do? Just you like the story, or was it just No, actually, I, 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 I wanted to do Macbeth. But they Macbeth just, the they, panto, they, they don't they, like they, it. They don't do a panto and Macbeth, so <laughs> I chose Robin Hood and yeah. Mary <laughs> It was because I've, I've played uh, Buttons several times, Aladdin, Dick Whittington, Peter Pan, or, and uh, I wanted to just do something a bit different. And this is the first time, and it's a brand new set. It's in 3D. We've got a wonderful cast. It's a massive cast, and we've got this this effect, uh, not just 3D, but this uh, FX thing that they've worked in Vegas, and then we've got this illusion on stage, which is I've seen it, and it's just going to freak people out. It's incredible to watch. I mean, I wish I was uh, coming to watch it. Um, I mean, Robin Hood as a character, some people sort of say he's quite like, slick, charming, would you say? Yeah, he's all that, he's me. <laughs> yeah. He's slick, charming, handsome hero. <laughs> Slightly grey, a bit of dye in his hair. And he wears tights. And he wears tights <laughs> and occasionally eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fancy some big old unit called Marion. <laughs> who's just basically a walk-in power station. <laughs> <laughs> and he falls in love. The story is he's going to fall in love with her and rescue Marion. A three-piece sweet. Yeah, it's just like she's this big old unit, big old. She. Oh, whose phone's that? Mine. That's yours. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's your agent saying you can't work with him. Don't let him call you a three-piece sweet. No, she's basically a moving big hotel. Big old wardrobe. She's a moving hotel. <laughs> she's a hotel on wheels. She's a premier in. <laughs> And that's who uh, the Robin Hood falls in love with. The this is the best in. interview you've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> it's very different, but no, it's good. So obviously you've both done a lot of acting, both like on TV and stage. Yeah. Um, so do you find sort of stage quite different? I mean, would you say you have a preference? Or does it kind oh, of I love it all, on really. What would you prefer, theatre or it TV? All. But if you had to choose. I love it all. You can't love it all. It's a million dollar question. Um, if you could only choose one, what would it be? Theatre, really. You like a bit of theatre? A bit of theatre. She's a bit of theatre. Because when you go wrong, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you oh, just have to carry trust on. Trust me, I know there'll be a lot that of things going wrong. That's someone I whack you over the knuckles with that remote control. <laughs> we were doing the perfect murder, dead serious, you know, d deadly play, who done it kind of thing. And she hit me with a remote control on my knuckles. Oh, I smacked it on his knuckles. On my knuckles. <laughs> and, and he went, ow. <laughs> right. And, and it sounds it, stupid now, went. but she went on stage, she just giggled her. <laughs> she giggled someone else's boobs off. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, it was a proper... <laughs> me? Uh, at the moment, I'm really enjoying the live stuff. Yeah. But that's not to say, come, <coughs> God willing, if they recommission Redwater, then I'll look forward to getting back in front of the camera. It's a, it's, it's a different approach. All together, you wear a different head for it. Like theatre, you're on your toes, the adrenaline is going. But it's a, for television, it's a different thought process, different style of acting, and I enjoy changing between the two. And what do you say with like um, pantomimes? There's sort of a lot more fun to it because it is a lot more laid back than maybe some other stuff it's, you've it's, done. It's just I, about I keep fun. saying it's a different genre of acting. Mm. It's, it's like because I, I did my first one last year, and I've, I'll be honest, I've always turned my nose up at pantos. I always thought that you know you don't want to do a panto. <laughs> But they're actually really cool, and everyone's doing them now, and they're fun. Different. 
and it, it, you know. And not everybody when, can when do it. No, and it is. It's like a, it's a different, it's a different layer of, of, of acting. Yeah. And the first time I walked out on stage um, last year doing a panto, um, and the audience shouts something out, it's like, whoa, that, that wall is not there. And then, you, and then you get used to it and you welcome it you in. And that's part it, yeah. of it. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting and fun. And I love it. I love pantos. And it's a shame because they used to be years ago, they'd, they'd run for like eight, 10, 12 weeks. And now I'm f it's only three weeks. Well, three weeks and three days or something like that. So you really got to hit the ground running. So from the very first show, bang, you're up there 100%. And two shows a day, smash it, love it. Can't wait. Um, say no cucumbers though. Oh, you're gonna cop big cucumber over the head you are. <laughs> <laughs> she saw me in a panto where I did this whole improv thing with a cucumber beating one of the act with a cucumber. I don't know why it happened to that. He just started <laughs> smashing his cucumber over this bloke's head. <laughs> you could smell the cucumber in the audience. She's going to cop it this Christmas. <laughs> I'm just sitting there thinking, please, no cucumbers <laughs> yeah. on stage. Yeah. That sounds rude, but no cucumbers on stage. No. <laughs> so obviously you've both worked on stage for a number of years. What would you say is like both your most memorable moments? And sort of stuff you've done. What, together? No. Your solo stuff. Yeah. I think you do oh. things. Things, yeah. Things like what they used to be. That's 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 when I was in my element. Mm -hmm. The Lionel Bart musical, directed by Terry Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, is that sort of the best thing you've done? Mm. You say, stage? Playing Lil in Things, definitely. Yeah. What about you? I really lo I've loved playing Scrooge. I did the musical, Leslie Brickus and Anthony Newley songs, and I absolutely I'm a big fan of Dickens. Um, and I loved playing that particular character because it was all about redemption mm. and I loved it. Um, you sort of touched on working together and I know you're sort of most well known for working EastEnders. As Did you watch EastEnders? Who's your favourite people on EastEnders? Um, I'll say you both. <laughs> do you what do you really mean? Say that? Well, I don't watch it anymore. Well, because we're, no, we're not in it. Yeah. My <laughs> five sister. <laughs> <You can't. sighs> but is it nice to be working together again? Do you ever get like. I hate him so other? much. <laughs> I don't want to work with him again. <laughs> All right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. I'm I, hate <laughs> I hate every big old unit. She's just a walking premier in. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, we've worked together for so long and so closely um, that it just feels natural. normal. <laughs> normal. <laughs> yeah. So when people ask us. I'm still intrigued, why would you ask me when you're working with one of your best mates? Uh, it just so happens, I mean, we could be builders, or we could be, clear, and we'd be working together as mates, it just so happens we're in the public eye working together, which, when you're on the outside looking in, is very rare, mm. you know. But we are mates, and the fact that we're both in the same business, I think we'd still be mates if we weren't in this business. So no. probably right, no, you're right, <laughs> wouldn't. And just lastly, um, obviously you've got both like a lot of experience in acting. So, do you have any advice for people who maybe be trying to break into it? Do something else. <laughs> <laughs> do something else. <laughs> I, you know okay, what? Advice. My sons just, are both in the just, just keep, just keep trying. There's a big difference. All you can do is your best. Mm. If you want to be in this business because you, all you see is fame, then don't do then it. Then don't do it. There's a big difference it. between fame and success. I mean, we're lucky because we've had. Uh, an element of fame but I was never in this business to do that I just wanted to I enjoyed being an entertainer whether it was a singer dancer actor comic but I just wanted to be an entertainer um, if you're coming into this business to want to be an actor then great be an actor but don't go out looking for fame because that's the worst drug of all that's all we've got time for say thank you for your time thank you thank sister you. and you were very good oh, thanks. you're welcome